Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am bringing back an old favorite today. Um, before I really just started investing in doing travel videos, I did these monthly skincare and beauty empty videos and people really love them and I've gotten a few questions lately as to where they went. I've been doing some of this content over on my TikTok, which I will leave linked down below. So I am gonna bring them back. I realize that not everyone who tunes into my videos wants to see lifestyle content or beauty and skincare content. So if that's not your thing, skip this video. Don't worry, there's still gonna be one travel video every single week. But let's jump in with this very battered <laughs> scrub. It's Dub Scrub. <laughs> Love saying that together. So this is the Dub Exfoliating Body Scrub with crushed macadamia and rice milk scent. I love this. I tend to have dry skin and this is like a creamy scrub. It's not gonna tear your skin apart. It's really, really lovely and gentle going on. And if you follow it up with the Dove Body Wash, you will be so impressed with how soft people think your skin is and you'll get some compliments so you can thank me later. All right, next up we are going into something I use every single day, which is the Garnier Micellar Water Treatment for Sensitive Skin. I use this in the morning and the evening. In the morning I just do a single cleanse, in the evening I do a double cleanse, but I usually do this as a second cleanse after I get the bulk of my makeup taken off. And I really attribute this to the fact that I do not really get breakouts anymore, which is really great. It's gentle, it's effective, it works. All right, next up is a product for hair. I really like Batiste Dry Shampoo and they have all these different kinds of scents to them and I really like the tropical one, so I always buy this one on repeat if it's available. And I, as someone who color treats her hair, only really wash my hair about two to three times per week. So in between washes, I use this Batiste dry shampoo. And for those that don't know how to use dry shampoo, the secret with it is you just take little sections of your hair. And obviously there's nothing left in this, but then you would kind of spray the dry shampoo lightly into the root. Do that around the crown of your hair and then flip your hair upside down in the shower or the bathtub and make sure you dust it off, otherwise it looks like you have dandruff on your arms. And that's how you successfully apply dry shampoo. And it just gives you really wonderful kind of body texture. I actually feel like sometimes second day hair is actually better than when I washed it because of using the dry shampoo. And if you do have dark hair um, or different colored hair, they have ones for that as well. I've never tried the blonde one, but if someone really wants me to test it and review it, leave a comment down below. All right, next up is this Ted Baker hand cream in Midnight Bloom. So I actually use this as both a hand and body cream, and a friend actually gave me a gift set of different shower gels, hand cream, body wash from Ted Baker, and I loved all of them. To be fair, the Midnight Bloom scent wasn't my favorite, but because the cream was so hydrating and wonderful, I just used it all up because it wasn't an offensive or bad um, scent. It just wasn't my favorite scent. Ooh. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, and there was more of a floral one as part of this set that I really love that I will definitely be repurchasing. But just as a tip either for yourself, if you want kind of something that looks really nice in your bathroom or your bedroom, or you want a really lovely and expensive gift idea for someone, I would really recommend the Ted Baker gift set. So thank you, Susan, if you're watching this. Um, okay, next up is my favorite serum, and I'm sorry, this looks like, can you tell, hello, proof of product empty. This is the Darfan Ideal Resource Micro, micro uh, refining smoothing fluid. You can actually use this as a moisturizer or a serum. I use this as a serum. It's actually the one that's meant for combination skin. I actually have dry skin, so I use this as the serum and then I use the um, full ideal resource moisturizer on top of this. Now I do mix and match with some other serums, but this has been my always in my kind of beauty skincare regime no matter what serum. All right, next up, I have a new product that I kind of tested on a whim. I don't know if you can really see this, but um, this is actually the Pixie Beautify Eye Brightening Eye Patches, and this is 30 different pairs of eye patches. I think I bought this on Look Fantastic, 
and it's only like 22 pounds for 30 different, well basically 60, but you know, one for each eye. So 30 different pairs of eye patches and Obviously this is a complete empty, but you can see here it comes with a really nice spatula to scoop it up. It is kind of covered up here, but then you basically just had all the eye patches stacked on the inside. And oof, if I'm feeling really tired, my face is feeling really dry, or I'm feeling really puffy, or I have a special kind of event, you know, maybe a date or something, I always would use these in the morning or right before as I'm getting ready. I just, I love these. I also think these make a wonderful gift because they're not necessarily something people always think to buy for themselves, but once you have them, you just love using them. And if you want, you can keep them in the fridge for an extra kind of cooling effect. Okay, and then my last but certainly not least of my beauty and skincare um, empties is this Caudalie Vino Perfect. It is the concentrated brightening glycolic essence. Now I got this as a free gift with purchase. I really do love Caudalie products, but I have to say this one wasn't my absolute favorite. I'm still, I think for me, for toners, I really like the Darfan um, Intral one the best because it's just really hydrating and soothing. And I also am not sure that I'm just the biggest glycolic acid fan. Um, I'd love to be proven wrong if anyone has a product that they recommend that I try. I did still, however, use this to the end because I wanted to give the product a full shake. It's with these kind of essences, you would use this kind of after you do your morning cleanse, you use it as kind of an acid toner, and then you would go into your serums and your other skincare. But yeah, I just didn't really take on to this one. But for someone who does like glycolic acid and you're looking for new products to try, I'm sure this might be something you wanna give a go. So yeah, that wraps up my beauty and skincare empties. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried any of these products? Let me know what you love. Or do you have any holy grail products that you just can't live without that you recommend that I would love to try? I always say sharing is caring here on this channel and this is no different. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do a ton of travel and lifestyle content and now we're mixing back in some more beauty content. So more great things are to come. So make sure you're subscribed to come on this wonderful YouTube journey with me. So thanks again for tuning in and I will see you soon.